Hi there guys, welcome back to uh, Weird World Snacks. Uh, probably a quick one today, but an interesting one nonetheless. I, I found a store um, here in Perth, Western Australia, in Joondalup, called the uh, South African Essentials Store. Um, seemed like a pretty good place, and um, you know, they had all the things you'd expect. Um, like, you know, um, biltong, and I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but boars, and um, popo tea mixes. Again, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Um, they even serve hot curries uh, and lunches and stuff. So that was pretty cool, and they were pretty helpful guys. So again, this is not a paid endorsement. I'm just uh, recommending anyone in Perth uh, check them out. And we'll uh, maybe give their details at the end of the video. So people will probably say, why don't you try things like biltong and things like yeah, papa tea and those um, biscuits, I forget what they're called. The simpler answer is I've, I've seen a lot of YouTube taste test videos where uh, people try them and pull weird faces, so I thought I'd try something more simple and common. Just little snacks like these uh, Ghost Pops, the original flavoured maize snack. And I was told by the staff at uh, South African Essentials that these are quite popular and quite delicious. Um, I've also picked this drink, Sparletta. Sparberry soft drink, um, a product of the Coca-Cola company, but I don't know, I don't have any idea what Sparberry is, and that's what attracted me to this. And it does say product of South Africa, so forgive me if this is not common or popular over there, but um, it is from South Africa. And for a sweet, we have Super C mixed berry flavored, uh, it says the energy sweet. Yeah, so let's give them a try. So first of all, the uh, ghost pops. The bag doesn't have a lot of air in it, so I have a good feeling this might have settled a bit in shipping, but oh, there we go. Yep, looks kind of what I would expect for corn-based snacks. It smells kind of tomato-y, quite light. So, yep, they've pretty much got the consistency that you would expect for uh, corn-based snacks. A bit powdery. So let's give them a taste. Ooh, airy, light. Mmm. Wow, quite, quite tangy. It's like a... You know when I said ghost pops, I thought maybe they would be spicy. Like ghost pepper chilies or something, but um, that's not spicy really, it's quite tangy. Um, tastes kind of like tomato. Maybe a little bit of um, paprika there. Almost vinegary. Very light. This, um, the texture on the mouth, or the mouthfeel reminds me of what it's like to eat uh, cheesels in Australia. So if you can imagine uh, tomato flavored cheesels, that's pretty much what, um, what we've got here. Mm, quite Moorish. I wonder what they would be like with kiwi dip. And now to try the drink, the uh, Sparletta, Sparberry soft drink made by Coca-Cola. Oh, another carbonated one, yes. We've had a lot of non-carbonated drinks on this show so far, so... Oh, very red. Very red. This is, um, looks a lot like a drink we have in Australia called Red Creaming Soda. Which is the butt of many jokes about making people too energetic, so you say, oh, he's had too much Red Creaming Soda, he's been hyperactive. So, ooh, there's a very strong berry flavour wafting over here already. It's, it's not unpleasant at all, it's quite pleasant. Oh, wow, that smells exactly like uh, jelly, or as the Americans would call it, jello. Um, like your red jello. I sure hope it tastes like it too. Let me give it a go. Oh, tastes like red jello and red creaming soda blended together with a carbonated base that is fantastic that is probably i mean i've not been doing these reviews for too long but that's got to be my favorite soft drink i've tried on this show yet that is that is top shelf well done south africa bottoms up Uh, hugely refreshing and delicious. And now, Super C. 
mixed berry flavoured, the energy sweet. I wonder whether that means that there are some, there's caffeine or guarana or something similar to that in this drink. Let's just have a look here at the ingredients list. Um, sugar, dextrose, glucose, syrup, uh, acid E330, which is a preservative, vitamin C, flavouring, anti-caking agent and colourant. So that's a bit disappointing. I guess the energy is purely coming from sugar. Vitamin C and, glu and glucose, yeah. So that should still be tasty. Well, let's give it a try. It is, as the packet suggests, a lozenge. Kind of like a lifesaver sized candy. Um, no hole in the middle, but that's, yeah, obviously. Oh, there's the C for uh, Super C. So let's give it a try. Hmm. Quite a hard candy. No obvious flavour coming yet, so I feel like it's one I have to bite into. Here we go. Oh. Okay. That's pretty mild. A bit unexpected. It's, uh, tastes more like a vitamin than a sweet. Kind of a grape flavour. Yep, mixed berry is pretty accurate. Grapey. Also a little bit chalky though, kind of like an antacid tablet. And a bit medicinal. I'm not sure if these are supposed to be sold. I mean, it does say sweet, so it's not the kind of thing I could see myself popping, you know, two or three of them a day. It's, uh, it's more like medicine. Not unpleasant, but not really, not really that impressive compared to some of what our American brothers and sisters produce with uh, artificial flavors. So there it is, guys. Um, Ghost Pops, maize flavored snacks, Sparletta, Spa Sparberry soft drink. The best soft drink I have tried on this show. Get yourself a can, with, if you can. And Super C, the not-so-super vitamin C energy lozenge. And just once again, I'd like to thank the guys from the uh, South African Essential Store up in Joondalup in Perth, Western Australia. Um, check them out uh, if you want to try some of these yourself.